Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake, to no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. The, the whole clan knows man. we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War tested <coughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The, the aim is to help you out. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. You're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gamut is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. Hmm. You're using one of Night Corps' cirques. We'd only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked? Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's... automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower. Then go on to Mikoshi. Plan. Entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka, and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out, want to cut your losses, I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just... no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask her yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. They put on a good face while I'm here. Gotcha. Need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Out past the Blackwall. Are you fully present up there? 
Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. That t-shirt of yours looks like a mouth. It's weird. Best choice in the U.S. of America. <laughs> My run animation looked weird there. Okay. Also, my well, like what you can see in my run animation in the shadows. No, no. Okay, yeah, no, the shadows are looking fine there. Not sure what that was about. That America's long gone and forgot. You might as well have started with Once Upon a Time. That America's just long it. gone and Doesn't matter forgot. where we go, you might as well have started with land. Once Every upon state a time. is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind, Teddy. An imagined community. At least here, now, you know where you stand. Look at it this way. Life can't... One, two, three, four, five. Disappoint if you don't have expectations, illusions. Maybe that's exactly what freedom is, brother. If that's freedom, why do I feel like I can't breathe? Like somebody's gripped my throat and won't let go? Like I said, Teddy, it's a state of mind. Or, you know, the air. Freedom's what you do with what's been done to you. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also oh. scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So, nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? Heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid fire 70 millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? I want to get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. And you want to say ass? No. Uh... Talk later then, I guess. Yeah, well, there's no way to end the conversation. Dakota's over here. Hey, Dakota. Shamai, brother of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? 
up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Not at all curious what I'm going in for? You don't ask me. I don't ask you. That is the path to a lasting relationship, brother. Everything is ready. You can go in. Ice-filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? That's how you know it's working. All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, bro. Johnny died. Feels like I'm mm. deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. I had no choice. It was the only way I could come here, meet with you. Repression. You are good at this, and improving. rather just talk to him. Discussion with any isolated construct is pointless. I can simply read it like any other segment of code. The sole human factor here is you. Yeah, well, said human factor is rapidly running out of time. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Hmm. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. So is there no answer for me? I might damn no matter what I do. What should I expect there? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. Is there anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Hmm. They could always have Johnny in a sequel. You Just have him survive this. Why? 
But again, conflicting with the endings, because I know when one he does take over V, it's a clear implication as an option throughout the game. Constructs will be integrated? I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You wanna destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Mm-hmm. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? I can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Yeah. Holy. Mm. Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. May want to put out those fires. Saul, you wanted a word? Hop up here. What's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Sorry. Are you all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors, too. But to be an Aldecaldo, I... I don't know if you Just should... Just answer the question. Are you ready? Fuck me, Saul. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Mikoshi. Isn't that the welcome way? Welcome to it? the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldo Caldo. <laughs> he welcome to the clan. He is. The most What's did they say? Easier to gain a Cobra's trust than an Aldecaldo's. Well spoken. So I know how much this means. To you. To me. Thank you. Will not let you down. Don't worry. It's but a formality. 
You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. <laughs> Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. But this is still your night. Some basketball and found you. glory. I've saved Mitch's ass, I've saved Saul's ass, I've saved Pan Am's ass. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you alright? Yeah. yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it. In your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. Then. Night City, you're alone. Even in a crowd. But here, feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Often. <sighs> I was cruising with on upgraded gear. Not the best of ideas. I'm actually liking the look of this jacket. You know, it actually works what I got. Kinda. Avocados Rally uh, Bolero Jacket. Welcome to the family. I kind of keep the Johnny thing going because it just feels right. God, I have no upgrades on pistols. done with that.
the like this being the finale, this being an ending is kind of getting to me. It's the feeling, in, the knot in my chest, you know. Wow, you just get immunity to shock through engineering. You don't need the implant for it. Just gonna check one thing. Three different versions of Johnny's Gun. Cyberpunk Red. It's a new pen and paper RPG by our Tessorian Games, done in 2020. It was, um, it was meant to be the latest edition of the RPG with the release of the Cyberpunk. Uh, with recent video game, bridge time gap between the two games. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff originally slated for 2022, but. Don't seem to have done it. Seven. Ah, in sub it ah Cyberpunk twenty twenty. It's uh, on the wiki. It's talking about the version of Johnny's Gun from the pen and paper game. It seems. Apparently, it counts as a power and a tech weapon. Though, th there, it's just down as a power. It, got, it has ricochets and object penetration. But yeah, it is a pistol, so I'm doing the right thing here. Okay, reduce reload time. Okay, go around. Hmm. 
Just for your dollars. Grand finale. Ah, no. Maybe I shouldn't have put so many points into in crafting and stuff. Eh. Anyway. You are. I might have. You have to look around. So maybe I'll I take two more to take the hood of my car. It had been, been a cold today. night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. We couldn't get out the next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember the smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, B. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be? The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Taking it all with the int with absolutely no intent of ever using it. <laughs> Army feels I shouldn't be doing this tired, but it's just like. I don't want to stop, I want to see it through, but I'm fucking wrecked now. Of course, the other night, when I tried to get to sleep early, get back to the matter at hand, shall we? I was awake till like 5 a.m., I couldn't sleep. Today? No, I'm d I was, I've been tired since like 1, 2. Hey, I'll go things. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. Nice. So, time for a ride? Nice. Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. I hope you clean the seats. All right, fire her up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. <laughs> Fix 
possible, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. You know what I miss? Red Faction Gorilla. Bombardment. All right. That's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. That sounded pretty good. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one uh, why the hell not back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails supplements boosters god knows what else they shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. Hmm. Earth to V, your cogs are grinding. What about? Again, I wish I knew what I was going to say exactly before he said it. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One will head into tomorrow, too? Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. <laughs> Me and Pan Am. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned oh. about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. She's cheating. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself, that this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch. 
not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? Because she's constantly banging on. You're awfully quiet. Is something up? She's constantly fighting him about every single decision. She clearly wants to be at the table. Yeah, I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. The question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Yeah, to be honest, I was thinking a similar thing myself. Really sweeten the deal for the Avocados. They're taking... Up. It's, it's a heavy thing for them to do. At least they can profit a bit. It'll ease folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Hello there. Okay. Yeah, it's finally done. Hmm, it's nearly four. I need to go somewhere tomorrow. I'm meeting up with some friends. So probably finish this quest and mm, I'll talk to the nomads and I'll probably leave it there. Well, you can't let it hover just above the ground. Not in those conditions. Um, you keep checking the thrusters. Maybe something is loose. Yeah, I'll I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, I'll talk to the nomads wherever they are. And I'll um, probably call it there. Go go get some sleep, and I'll finish this tomorrow. And then I'll do the uh, the rogue run with Johnny. Then maybe I'll try the. You know, I might do all the endings since I I don't seem to be locked into any. Since I don't seem to be locked into any of them, I could try the full route here. Mm -hmm. I might do the crushing the pills one separately. Like this, maybe as a second one. That way I can clean the palette with the rogue one or maybe the other one. Just wait till I'm finished with her. That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. I think you swerved a little bit. Ah, oh, you. Hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn-out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. I'm glad to hear it. It's a good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. Hmm. No, no. C major, then G. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hey. How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. You have my thanks, V. Hey, 
day. No any samurai songs. On a night like this, I'm not thinking about anarchy. It's all about unity, brother. Know this number? What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Well, well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? V, you must know where they stand. Do you? We're gonna need to drink more to talk about them. I think it's really that bad between them. The truth is, we need cash and fast. Amen. This Makoshi is a personal thing to you, but Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. Hmm. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard, huh? <laughs> Screw you all. Okay, I like that little banter. Bird of hatches. Just worried about that wall. How the hell are we gonna get over it? We're gonna start worrying about that after tomorrow. But once we're down south, you know where we could go? Birdies. Are you talking about that beat-up old diner down by El Cajon? What are you calling beat-up? They have the best spare ribs I ever had. That is right. You haven't tasted nothing, heathen woman. Added up to here with the Pan Am versus Saul debate. Join the club, child. How are things with you guys? Not much to say. All seems set for tomorrow. We're still waiting on some intelligence from the drone. Should no more come morning. Apart from that, we're keeping our toes crossed we don't get fucked tomorrow. Pardon my French. I can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I see. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if... Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right. 
I best be going. See you tomorrow. of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, I bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Yeah. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. Pan Am and me. If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Now you're using me. The clan will grab spoils from Makoshi while you do Pan Am a favor by helping me out. Not bad, Saul. You don't even believe that. You think I put the clan at peril for my own gain? What for? You're not the kind of guy to willingly surrender power. And if all is lost tomorrow, who will I govern? Dust and ghosts? You're wrong, B. This isn't about power. That jacket wasn't for nothing, B. You'll understand soon enough what it's like to be part of a whole. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll take that as a no, so. Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Is everything going all right? It's going. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing. Just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not to fuck with Dakota. That's good advice. And look out for yourself. Don't tell her this might be the end. Are you outside of your head? She wants to quit her job in Colorado to come here. Except there might not be a here tomorrow. Brother, we don't There's a war that. coming. If you send that, I she's know going it. to imagine the worst. Is We've that been told. Want? So what am I supposed to write? That you miss her. Love her. You'll see her soon and so on. It's not a lie if you don't know what will happen. That there might as well be the truth. Mm, sure enough. We have a say. Catch you on the trail. Mm -hmm. Do you know where I saw the most stars? Mount Sinai, at the peak. Since when were you in Egypt? I used to work on a tanker, so I've been pretty much everywhere. But those stars on Sinai, millions of them, at the tips of your fingers. You think someone's, you know, out there? I mean, the Milky Way has at least a hundred billion stars, right? Which means you'd be looking at around 200 billion planets that could support life. And that's just in our galaxy. So why haven't they made contact yet? 
because they don't give two licks about us. <laughs> I mean, look around. Would you? Hmm. Look what the cat dragged in. You said it again. Gotta keep moving. Revolver, empty bottles, middle of nowhere. Perfect. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bank. I heard that a long time ago, right about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow, so I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. God damn you. When was the last save? A while back. I get one chance at it. Begin. What kind of machinery have you got in there? You should be giving me lessons. Fine shooting, kid. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. Learn something after all. Let this be a reminder to you. Thanks, Cass, but I think you should keep it. it suits you more. Hmm, maybe you're right. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. I like you. Oh. Okay. I'm going to leave this here, folks. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed. I like it. Alright then, I guess we're gonna keep going, so. Game demands it. I must fulfill. God damn the sound. Thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know <laughs> if that's good or bad. Fuck. They're People agreeing. are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them. Who in the right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. Man. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul yeah. has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. Sorry. V, 
stop. You sent me and your family, and how do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. It wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. Uh, you're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Hmm. Nothing? There's many options that feel appropriate. I'm always trying to pick the choices with some degree of care. Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. And with that, I'll call this here. Um, what I'm gonna do, I think, is uh, Nocturne OP55N1. I'm gonna make one episode. For, uh, we gotta live together. I'm gonna make into another episode. Forward to death. I'm gonna make another. If there's another quest in there, I might make that a separate quest. Um, don't worry. All are gonna be uploaded the same day. Hours apart, but it's going to be a gauntlet run. And when I'm done with all of this, I'll see set about reading all the journal entries I've gotten and the lore entries. I'll be rereading stuff. Um, I'll be going by the vids I've released, so I'll get around to those at far at at um, far last. At long last, I'll get around to those. Sorry, the feeling of it is kind of getting to me. The weight, the heft, you know? It feels wrong to break it up like this, but I can't keep my eyes open. The emotional weight, I can, you know, I can feel it. I don't want this to end, and it's going to last one night longer. I need to go get some sleep. Then, like I said, I think we might sit through all the endings. One after the other. So, uh, we'll, we're doing the Nomad ending here. I'll break the pills next time, and that's probably going to be a suicide ending. We'll go the Johnny route, then we'll go the Arasaka route. Then again, I think maybe the Arasaka route, then the Johnny route. Johnny Red's bound to be fun. So, we'll end on a Johnny note. And again, uh, when it does come back to doing um, the DLC, I'll be jumping in with this save. So, I may be able to pick it up from a post-base post -game, game save, but I probably wouldn't have Johnny then. Or maybe he'll just be with me because DLC. 
I don't know. But it feels weird to do, pick something post-game. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I said, these will be going up all the same day. It'll be a, gaunt a little gauntlet run for you. Each one getting their own separate episode. I suppose if something's short enough, like say Forward to Death is a 20 minute affair, it's, it'll just be grafted onto the next longer thing. But, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed. I really do. Like I said, the weight of this is kind of getting to me. It's like the. The Won't Go When I Go quest, the crucifixion one. I think that's what it's called. That, that had a weight to it. Same here. So, till then. If you would like to tell me, please let me know in the comment section below. But until then, love and peace, baby.